what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel energy healing tarot one two three it's your girl and Prish Jim here to drop some jewels and love virgo someone rising in venus and you cross watchers you are up general message guys cannot resonate with everyone take what's for you leave the rest behind in any event continue to show your girl that love and support like comment share subscribe to the channel head over follow me on those social media platforms book a personal and continue to browse the shop at mnmenergy.com all that information is listed in the description box below okay so we either want a whole new world or something is completely over or we need to come full circle with something here virgo okay but it was gonna go and i was feeling that you know there was a there's like an old situation there's a judgment yeah something is over okay judgment's here the truth is out i was getting more of you guys wanting to speak the truth or needing somebody to speak some truths or Somebody could be speaking and telling the truth. I feel that, um, yeah, Libra, I'm feeling lots of Libra energy. Could be dealing with a Libra. You also could be a Virgo Libra customer. But I feel that, um, right now is actions speak louder than words. And it's not really being able to go off of what somebody is saying, but actually what they are doing right now, okay? It's like if somebody is really trying to be out here loving you, you need them to show you that they love you. If somebody really trying to be with you, you need them to show you that they want to be with you. They need to act on it and not just keep speaking to you. You're tired of the words. You're tired of the pillow talk. You're tired of the airplay. You want that shit to be over. Um, that page of swords will not go anywhere. I feel like either you're spying or somebody is spying on you. Okay, there is somebody who is spying. Okay. Somebody who is possibly single is doing the spying process because of a situation that is over. All right. Had to get that out there. I kept seeing the cards. They went and changed until the message spoke. So 10 card spread, guys. All the other cards have been shuffled to save us time. So let's get your affirmation for the month of October. Virgo, you have wait and see. Okay. <clears throat> Patience here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius because that's temperance. But thoughts love to wander into assumptions and race ahead to the future. But what if you told them to cool their jets and chill a sec? Today you get to pull your mental chatter on pause and to, you, to, take a, to take a deep breath and simply wait and see how things play out before you let your mind run a marathon of imagined scenarios. Wait and you'll see what waiting and seeing, and you'll see that waiting and seeing was a lot more productive than wondering and worrying. <sighs> okay. So just have patience with the situation. Wait and see. Like I said, you know, don't just go off of what somebody is saying. Look at what they're actually doing here when it comes to this situation. Underneath your deck, you guys got wants and needs. Take inventory of exactly what it is that you want and you need for yourself in a relationship. What is it that you're willing to tolerate, what you won't tolerate? Checks and balances right now could be dealing with uh, Taurus here. Okay. So, Spirit, we thank you for these opening messages here for Virgo. What do we have? Positive transition here, okay? Making positive changes here. I feel like, you know, as you're balancing out what you want emotionally for yourself from this person in a relationship, whoever it is that you're thinking about, something positive will come out of this, I'm feeling, if you guys just sit and wait and see, okay? Spirit, what's the message here for Virgo? Virgo. Summarizing the Venus and the Cross Watchers. Okay, so underneath the deck you have materialism. So this could be based off of a lot on money, you know, looking at what somebody has to offer. You know, is this something that you necessarily need in your life? Or is it something that you just truly want in your life here? Do you want this person because of what they have to offer? Or like, you know, like that. Um, I picked up a little bit of a gold digger vibe, just a small amount here. This could be, you know, vice versa. Take it how it resonates. But again, wait and see. Rest and relaxation. Stop beating your head up about this situation. Put that shit on pause and let the universe do their work here. I see here when it comes to this union of two souls, no matter how this contract plays into part here, that a balancing out is in need or is trying to take place so rest and relax wait and see let the universe do what they're doing i am like i said temperance divine time okay divine timing is at play here those two cards came out together 
right now this is a learning and a training experience here it's time for you to learn some lessons and dealing with the situation or dealing with this person i feel especially in regards to materialism um you need to remain cool calm and collected regardless of what is coming towards you or what is um said to you or done to you you need to remain cool calm and collected here also ask yourself is this something that you need to be dealing with okay craftsmanship okay <sighs> manipulation on your end on another end either way somebody's going to need to be cool about this whole situation i do feel like it's going to balance out this relationship or the situation or it of uh, this union whether this is soulmate life partner karmic you just have to wait and see here like i said with this wants and needs this craftsmanship this materialism it seems like this thing is based off of like material needs here manipulation heavy okay but i feel like either way you need to remain cool you need to relax take a step back just let things play out how they need to play out okay underneath the deck we have life is art paint your dreams sing your songs enjoy the dance spirit we ask for one card here for virgo please when you meet your soulmate you'll feel calm no anxiety no agitation so if the individual that you're thinking of or who you know who comes to mind who you're waiting and seeing or who, or who you need to wait and see on if they bring you any type of anxiety or agitation that's not the one for you okay um yeah that's not the one for you if you think about their name you hear their name they come around you like if they call you or they message you if you're reading back on old stuff or you think about them and it rubs you the wrong way that is not the one for you so you need to take a chill pill take a step back relax on that let the universe remove that situation from you because the person who will come towards you will make you feel at ease okay cool calm and collected underneath the deck it says, fall in love when you're ready, not when you are lonely. So, yeah, wait and see. Okay, manipulation. I feel like that's manipulation. You're allowing your emotions, you know, and your, your, your wants to make you go after a union here. Um, think about your needs, what it is that you need, okay? Ten card spread. First two out, we got the three of swords here, air, energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the four of pentacles. So somebody's heartbroken and holds them back here, all right? Or somebody could be also just holding on to a heartbreak or holding on to the need to sever a connection and let something go here, all right? We have the eight of pentacles. I do see that there is, that's craftsmanship, that's con working, putting in the work, still putting in the work, still trying to work on something. We got pentacles because there is no love emotionally that has been broken okay but there's somebody who's still trying to hold on to some sort of money or assets here and they're continuing to work on that that's that materialism aspect here we have the king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy here they're watching they're watching this all this take place this energy is watching and trying to decide how to make a move how to move forward here what exactly it is that they want to go for and towards because behind them they have stability okay we have five total wands here. That there's some competition. There is some pettiness. There are some arguments here. In regards to a household situation, I feel that someone is trying to work with someone to build some sort of stability here. We got a heartbroken person who's holding on to heartbreak and heartache. We got somebody who is, he actually looks like he's ready to get up and do something here, but he is stable at home. This king of, or he or she, this king of wands is stable at home. Um... Yeah, and I kind of get this feeling of him protecting and guarding his, you know, his stability here. But there's still some work that's trying to be put in into this union here. <clears throat> yeah, that's still four. There's still, either way, the people are still just holding back. I feel like, you know, it, it is, you're going to have to show me other than saying shit. You know, especially with the swords and the three of swords, you know, swords energy is like communication. So that is very much so. Um, I'm not believing any word that you're saying. Your words mean shit here, okay? Like, I need you to show me. I'm holding on to my time and resources and energy, which you can do. I feel also that this King of Wands energy, he wants to get up and, like, do something. But, again, there's a home dynamic that is behind him that is uh, that is, there's some stability. There's a commitment that is already there or whatever. Or, you know, just the fact that he's stable, okay? He's watching. 
watching someone putting some work and effort into this union here to try to make things work. Um, Ten of Cups, yeah, could be heartbroken about a family dynamic that could have ended, you know, something that, you know, was emotionally fulfilling to you, a relationship or a union that has already ended and still holding on and harboring that heartbreak here, possibly with this King of Pentacles, somebody who was stable, nurturing, a father figure, a spouse, you know, um, but yeah, I see that you're still, or this could be you here, Virgo, towards Virgo, Capricorn energy. But wanting to work, still wanting to put in that work, you know, finding that stability. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Wands trying to bring passion back into something here. So this King of Wands also could be wanting to offer in passion here. But it's kind of like um, this King of Wands is like, no, I'm kind of focused on my pinnacles. Because then for him, it's like I have a home dynamic. I'm heartbroken. I'm holding back. I don't really want to deal with this. I'm not, you know, up for all that passionate shit. I'm working on my money. I'm working on my stability here, my longevity, my success, my happiness here. Okay, yeah, this person wants to come in and offer the stick, you know, but this is like friends with benefits when I'm seeing these two cards together. It's like, yeah, we can be stable and we can kind of work together, but it's like it's only there's no love. Like it's not showing up as, two, as a love thing because there's three of swords. Like the heart is broken already. So the emotion is kind of not there. This is really just pat materialism. Seriously, hold on one second. But yeah, this is like pretty much materialism there. Like it's all wands and pinnacles. So this is like a passion and money. Sex, money, and drugs. That's literally what I just heard. But it's like this. Uh, there's somebody who's just like, no, like I want love. My heart's been broken. I want something that is fulfilling here. Like I'm holding back my money. Like I'm just going to continue to, I'm, I'll put in work into this union, but I'm holding back. Okay. I'm holding back. So that I can stay stable, grounded, or whatever. Then you got this en other energy that's looking like, look, but look, we can have a good time. Here's the passion. I want to offer a new passion to be getting with you. Let me come in and work with you. You know, I'm stable too. But there's still this element of heartbreak here. So you need to wait and see. Yeah, there was a tower moment here that made somebody hold back. There could have been a tower moment possibly in this King of Pentacles life here in his family dynamic, he or she. That made them like hold back um, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. But they, they're holding back. They want to hold. That's what's making them hold back and not wanting to give in anymore into this union because they there was a broken heart. We got two threes. Somebody heart got broken. Okay. Yeah. And it was over. So that's why they was like, no, I can't put in too much work into this. I need to transform how I work in this situation or whatever. Yep, with the hermit. Virgo, here you are. It's sitting under the King of Wands. So you could be the King of Wands energy, wanting some passion here in your life. But you got this King of Pentacles energy that's kind of like, ah, yeah, I don't know. Like, um, I'd rather be stable and focused. I feel like you see that something is over, that there's a death there. You probably even realize and notice, you know, deep within that a time moment probably happened in this person's life for why they are now holding back from you. But Again, remain cool, calm, and collected. Don't try to manipulate the situation, okay? Hold back that wand. Hold back that passion. Try to shed some more light on the situation. See what's going on. Speak up, especially with, like, this bluish color back here. Begin to try to, like, speak up, you know, try to seek the answers, get the answers that you need, especially while you're sitting in your energy, while you're in hermit mode, because there's a transformation on how this union is going to work. That's what I'm saying. You got to wait and see, see how things play out here. Communication will come in possibly from this King of Pentacles. He will say something here or she will say something here in regards to how things are changing, how things need to change, how things are over. OK, with this tower and if death, death energy here and how they made a decision to take their passion elsewhere. OK. How they decided to essentially, it seems, cut you out, but it is to bring about balance. It's to balance out a situation here because I feel like this person is also going through some things as well. Like they're going through a heartache and a heartbreak right now. Like they feel very deceived, very, very deceived. It's like somebody's also holding back a household as well. This King of Wands energy, which could be you, but it's how it's lining up. It's holding back this household's energy here, okay? Yeah, there's just gonna, it's gonna continue to be more blocks here. You're just really gonna have to wait and see what happens here. Um, but I do see a transformation of death and ending smack dead in the middle because of some cr disruption, something that shook up this other person's world that was just like, you know what, I can't do this, I'm done. And I'm bringing this, that it's over to you 
and it's like this the hermit is like down it's like okay like what the fuck like i just offered you you know some friends with benefits or you know let's work this out or make this happen you know to, let's try to get something stable going but it's like no um this person is blocking it out i feel like they don't want this you know that's the taking the wand away they don't want this passion here they don't want this new passion to start yep queen of pentacles chariot and a king of swords so yeah they know that they have success here with a true queen of pentacles with their true match could be you taurus virgo capricorn here could be a cancer could be a gemini libra aquarius with the king of swords i feel like they're just honestly coming in and just saying what they need to say here like like look here like my success lies with my true counterpart with my other half here okay We also have a masculine here who could be blocking off a relationship possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer, or with another Virgo, or with another with a fire, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or also a Scorpio. Someone who could be blocking off that type of energy there so that they can be with their person, their match. But we do have a spousal match here that has that, you know, something shook up in their world that is making this man or making this other person, making the king, the father like figure realize that, no, I cannot do this anymore. I cannot keep putting passion and, you know, thrills in front of my queen of pentacles. So, yeah, underneath the deck. Yeah, this is about an opportunity. Could be like a, somebody extending. So fall in love when you're ready, not when you're lonely. Don't go off and offer this pinnacle up to somebody because you're lonely and you want love. Like don't give up the wand because don't because you're lonely and you you want love. You know your right person, your person will be there because you're just exchanging your energy out and you're depleting yourself. Okay, you need to rest and relax. Okay, rebuild your strength up so that when the person who is meant for you comes into you the person that you truly desire and need comes towards you you'll be ready for this person okay you'll have the energy for this person you'll be a hundred percent for this person because right now this person is taking their 50 percent actually they're holding back four pentacles from eight pentacles here okay a relationship that could have balance eight we know is the infinity sign you know it's like a balance but this person is literally taking their loop away and just leaving you running in the circle by yourself and it's because they're heartbroken because their family dynamic had a shake up and they they can't take it they can't not be with their stable person here their other counterpart their true match their true half they can't not be with this person okay so they're, they 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 want to move forward here and they're going to voice this they're going to say this um but it's like you like i said with the whole you don't want the words because the words don't mean anything you want action so i I feel like with the seven of wands here, this blocking here is is the action. It's showing. So spirit, um, yeah, we thank you for these messages. As we close off for Virgo, what do we have? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So yeah, this union is, and that's I, that will balance it out. That's what's going to balance it out. I feel like this person brings anxiety here. Okay. The card that you got to flip, the card you got is trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Wait and see. Trust in the universe. Trust in the process. Trust in what is happening and what is going on. Okay? Underneath the deck, you have you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay? So don't fall in love because you, you know, you're lonely. Don't be going out and just giving yourself to people because you want to feel love. Okay? That's not real love. Real love will come to you when it's time. And when it comes, you will feel calm. Okay? They will make you feel at peace. All right. So, Virgo, that has been your message for the month of October. You guys know what to do with this information. Until the next time we speak, peace out.